So put these in order. They're numbered from one to eight. So you kind of slowly, slowly work your way over. And, you know, never really tightening all the way down. Just do a couple of turns each one. Just kind of work your way across. Like I said, you can pinch the can and it can crack the can. The cans are actually quite brittle. They're strong and hard, which makes them brittle. It is a bit more time consuming, but it's safe and it's the right way to do it. There is actually on the workshop manual, it does actually tell you what can, what cap to tie in a sequence. Um, but for many years, I've never really followed that. Um, even when I was at the dealer, and we did these back in the 90s. I never really followed that. And there you go, that's all eight caps. And then I put these end ones on. And again, even with these, you don't really just do one side right to the end. You kind of just work them down from side to side. There you go, the seal's in perfectly. Uh, we just put the old belt back on to time it back up. So you can see that there, line that up again. That's on the mark there. See that little mark there, that turns up the cover. So that's perfect. Let me move the cover. And as you can see, the two lines line up perfectly. And now the chain is tensioned, whereas before it was loose. So it being loose, the overlap on the cams would have been totally different. Uh, the timing would have been different between the inlet and the exhaust. So the mileage on this is 120,000, which, you know, a chain does slacken off after that amount of time. So here we have the standard ABF inlet manifold, the lower half, the top half, and the throttle body. These were really in quite bad condition. Um, so, you know, dirt-wise, it would over time. And because this was a budget build, these were the only bits that we kind of got uh, aqua-blasted, um, which is a process of water, and it has kind of glass media, which is kind of glass little little beads in it. And, um, and it leaves this amazing finish of pure aluminium look and it doesn't need to be treated, it doesn't corrode back, it really, really is quite good. It, is, it isn't a cheap um, process, um, but because this sits and it's quite, you know, it stands out in the engine bay, 
we, we, we gave these three parts a bit of a clean. I mean, you'll see now uh, the pictures of, of how bad they were over 20 plus years of, um, of usage. So they had a good clean inside and out. Um, sometimes we do port, port match, because sometimes the port matching with here and here are quite different, um, but we're not going to be bothered. Um, with this, it's just a, a basic build. You know, we're just looking, uh, you know, 160 with a little remap. Maybe get a chip off eBay or something, and and we got a different manifold, the exhaust manifold that we're going to be uh, running. Uh, one thing we we potentially may do on this is on these ABF throttle bodies. Um, they have these two ridges here, the really big one on the front and there's a, a very small one on the back as well. You can see that in there, focuses, you can see in there. So basically what that does is, it, it's there to dull off, to dull off the, um, the pedal or the pedal map. Uh, nowadays, obviously you have a pedal map, it's fly by wire and you can dial it in so that your granny can drive it and, and so forth and the throttle response is not so aggressive. Obviously, with cable, people would, you know, this have a certain cam, it would have a certain angle, so, you know, the throttle. VW opted to put quite a big ridge on here. So even though you've pressed, you know, quarter throttle, as you can see, the top half still isn't open, and the bottom bit has only just slightly cracked open. So, you know, you really have to start, and start to, you know, go over half throttle, almost full throttle, before it kind of... Uh, opens up so you've got quite a big a bit of play so that what that does is dulls off that kind of initial feeling which also doesn't help the ABF stat feel in standard form quite flat uh, in kind of throttle responses and stuff so normally we would literally take this all off uh, to make it quite a bit more aggressive but I think what we'll do is we'll take maybe just a little bit of this and it's got like a little sharp ridge on there so we'll will take off a bit of the hump and a bit of the ridge. But if you do want to get a nice sharp response, you know, on standalone ECU or, or even on the standard ECU, this does work quite nice, just removing this uh, this lip and just making it it thing. And it does also help uh, top end as well. Um, on the AFRs, you do see it lean off slightly, uh, which is nice um, at the top end because these standard ECUs, they run, um, component protection over four four grands on wide open throttle so it does dump in a bit of fuel which does dull off the performance so taking this off you don't see much but it is a few points it does run off um, but you know this combined with the air box and the air filter you do see a, a, a nice a nice performance scale at, at the top end um, over four grand it does hold, hold on to the torque a bit more and produces a bit more power uh, but for this, we'll, we're not going to go crazy. We'll just take maybe half of this off, so it's still in between. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll see see how I feel. I might end up just taking all of it off. Um, but we'll do that in another video. So here we have the standard ABF uh, Mark III airbox with a fairly small compartment here, chamber for the air temp sensor and the, the part that goes to the throttle body. Now, the inside diameter, the ID of this is 62 mil. And this was the original velocity stack that went inside there. And the inside diameter of this is actually 39 mil. That's quite a big drop um, difference of over 20 mil. Uh, between this velocity stack inlet and the outlet of the, of the airbox. A lot of people speculate that this was due to um, VW kind of crippling the top end performance of the ABF so that there was a big enough gap between um, the 150 and the 174 of the VR6, which is potentially could be right. I mean, an ABF with just a few little, a few little mods um, can reach 160, even on standard ECU standard chip. Just with a few little bits and pieces, it does tend to uh, to 
perform a lot better. So what we've done is chopped it off, uh, machined it back with a Dremel further, and then used a V06, which has got the same inside diameter of uh, 62 mil on this velocity stack. And so it's, it doesn't drop and also uh, doesn't hinder the performance and makes it sound a bit better as well. Um, there was a few tests done uh, many years ago with a similar kind of uh, stuff that was done and it, it did make a, a, an improvement even over just putting a, a, a cone filter in the end this was still uh, performed better with a panel filter and the bottom box modified um, what we've done as you saw in the other video uh, we used the bottom box of a VR6 that didn't have the hot air um, pickup and also had a bigger snorkel at the front, so had a bigger intake. Um, so that bottom half with the uh, panel filter and this top half should be a nice gain, give us a nice bit of response on, um, on performance. So this is going to be done, we'll give this a clean up and a bit of a plastic, plastic paint so it looks, looks brand new. This is the actual loom that goes on the engine, it looks a bit messy, but it has been uh, all recovered and once it's on the engine will actually look good so again it's pretty pretty easy so what we've done on this we've done the rear low seal the cam belt and tensioner we've done the cam chain we've done the rocker cover gasket we also replaced the rear main seal and all the gaskets replaced the new got a new front flange side flange um, just got new seals from the dealer and put a flange on there as well new flange so the engine's built up with the loom back on and uh, literally just ready to uh, to be um, to be dropped in the loom's ready so now it's just finding the time to get it done um, actually there is one thing that needs to go on which is going to be the exhaust manifold the UK cars have one type and the Europeans, some of the European models actually came with a, uh, an equal length one which flows a lot better, um, which we'll show you and then the downpipe needs to be shortened so you'll see the differences and uh, you'll see them side by side.